Hello YouTube people, today I gonna show you the most incredible watch I bought last year, Boltani 1926. This is stainless steel watch with 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back, dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, Seiko quartz movement, it's simply unbelievable. You know what, let's just jump straight into action. I bought this watch on Aliexpress 1111 sale and this time I haven't bought this watch just to have some fun, to make a review and sell afterwards as I usually do, no. This time you are looking at my watch, I bought this watch for myself and I'm super happy with this watch. I mean just look at this brushed metal dial, how it nicely pops out in the light under this amazing domed sapphire crystal, it has such a good clear anti-reflective coating that it looks just as good as those swatch watches with acrylic crystals on top, it is that clear, it is that good. Also I'm super happy with this fluted bezel, how it plays out together with this big crown, it really catches eyes. And those breguet style heat blue hands, they usually look black, only on specific angles they look blue. I mean this watch looks so delicate, it looks so rich, I'm super happy with this watch. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> anyway, let's check the quality of this watch. Uh, case back is mirror finished, which I have already scratched a little bit. Uh, pretty good for some kind of engravings, I believe. Mm, let's start with the crown action. It's a screw down crown. Threading is simply wonderful. Screws out and in very nicely. Crown action is very slow. Very very slow. I I just absolutely love such a slow crown action what i don't love is that there is a little bit of a free play i mean it's nothing terrible but a little bit of a free play anyway how is the alignment let's set it exactly on six absolutely perfect and speaking about alignment seconds hand is actually hitting the markers that's nice, that's attention to detail, that's nice. Now another thing which I absolutely love about this watch, look how proportional it is. I mean if I cover the lugs and if I cover the sapphire crystal, you couldn't even tell where is the top, where is the bottom. I mean the screw down case back has the same fluted finishing on the edge as the bezel. I mean that is just incredible. And overall the finishing, what's surprising that even inside of the lugs are not sharp. So everything is absolutely nicely finished. And yes, I'm smudging this watch, but you know, I'm just looking for the imperfections and everything is just perfect. What is not perfect, however, is the strap. That's probably the only place where Boltony has saved up some money. I honestly don't care, I would have bought this watch even if it was sold without any strap whatsoever, but such is the thing of a review, I have to show you everything. So initially this strap feels a little bit stiff, but after a few days it becomes soft and squishy and flexible and actually very nice. Initially the inside feels very plasticky and unbreathable, but after a few days it gets those wrinkles and actually becomes breathable and very nice to wear. But the problem with this strap is its durability. Few days in and it already fall, is, is falling apart quite literally. I mean, yeah, durability is not the greatest thing of this strap. But, you know, honestly don't care. I just have to show you what to expect buying this watch. So speaking about the straps, let's try some other options. <laughs> First of all, let's try something black. I think this watch looks wonderful with black strap. Yes, this is a rubber strap. I understand putting a vintage watch on a rubber is a little bit of a crime. The same thing as putting diver watch on a leather strap. But hear me out. This is modern watch with 100 meters of water resistance. And if I was traveling with this watch, I would actually wear this watch on a rubber strap. Thank you. 
and speaking about what's wrong, what's right, I believe this watch looks the most period correct on this leather strap, which is also very soft, very flexible. On my website thomaswatchreviews.com we are eight watches into different tier lists this one goes into keepers i wish i could place this watch into god tier honestly but it's a homage it's not some kind of an icon but you know it's it, it's as close to the god tier as it can possibly be <laughs> so with that note let's end this video thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye